Hello, my crafty loving friends. Welcome to Repurpose My Way. I'm Shelly. Today we have some thrift flips that we're going to upcycle from some secondhand shops. I thrifted this cute little basket for a couple dollars quite a while back, and it was springtime, but uh, it's not something that I wanted to keep with this decor. I'm going to have to take it all apart. I'm going to take everything off it. So this little hanger comes off it. And then I'm going to take all the insides out. I'm going to try to keep the the vine, but the rest of it I think is all going to go. And I'll probably keep the bow as well. But I don't really want that greenery and probably just set the sign aside and use that another time for something else. But I'm going, I have a different idea for this basket. So I just took it all apart and I ended up breaking it, which that figures... But it was an easy fix. I just added a little bit of glue to it and glued it right back on. And it's no problem. It's going to get painted and you're not really going to be able to see the back of the basket anyway. So that's going to work out really fine. I like to keep these vines and I can remake new wreaths with them. I like to actually use them as just candle rings and put them around my candles, my grubby candles. Uh, they look really good in a rustic primitive setting, so I like to keep them around. Now that I have the wreath all taken apart, I can now paint my basket. There we go. I spray painted it with a little bit of flat black Rust-Oleum spray paint. And now I'm going to distress the edges inside and out. Once I got that done to my liking, I'm going to take my watered down antique wax and brush it onto my basket and then wipe it back. It's just to give it a nice, deep, rich look bring out the brown tones of the spots that I have sanded back and to richen up that black paint. I set it out in the sun to dry and it was dry in no time. I love using that sun to dry my items. Now I have this beautiful wreath of pit berries that I want to use in the middle here. I picked this up again secondhand uh, at a friend's booth and it was a great deal. So now I have these little signs that I've picked up in the past um, I can't remember where I got them. If I remember, I'll leave a link down in the description. But um, I bought a bunch of them so that I would have them for different projects like this. And I'm having trouble figuring out which one I want to put on. I like all three, the sayings on all three of these. But I think I have narrowed it down to the one that I like. So let me know which one you would pick before you see the one that I would pick. Let me know down in the comments. Here is the one I picked. I like it because it has a nice bright background against that dark basket and I think the words pop a little bit better on that. So I'm going to take some antique wax and just tone down that white background a little bit and make it go a little bit better with my colors that I have going on here. I don't want bright white. I like to have it a warm, soft, off-white. So we're just going to put that on and then wipe it back a little bit. And then I'm going to take a little bit of black paint on my brush here and just go around the edges, give it a distressing, just to put it on and then wipe it back so it leaves just a little bit of black around the edging. I took a couple pieces of the wreath on the top and bottom and used those to affix the wreath to the basket so that when it was hung on the wall it wouldn't fall off and that worked just fine just wrapped it around a few of the basket weaves and it's on there nice and firm the sign i'm going to put 
with some hot glue and I'm going to attach that to either side of my my wreath and that looks really good. Well, I moved it down a little bit because I didn't like it that high. But anyway, that worked really good. I also glued in behind the sign and added some Spanish moss to make the sign pop a little bit and to cover up the inside of the basket. I think this gives it another, just a really good look and I really like the finished touch of this. And this basket is all done. Every once in a while I like to bring home something from my booth that I've had in there for a while and I had this spring sign and wreath up in my booth since um, spring I think. I think it was this year. Anyway I've had it in there for quite a while and I'm tired of looking at it and I want to do something different. So I took the wreath off and I found this vinyl lettering that came in a little kit with, I don't know, it said home and blessings and these little sayings on it. The only one that really fit and made sense was this family one to put on here. So that's what I'm going to do. When I previously did this uh, picture frame, I added music notes. I tore them all up into pieces and I added them to the background of this picture frame and I really love the background so I'm not going to touch that at all and I think these beautiful black letters and saying is going to look really really nice on the back of or on the front of the music notes. So I'm just going to peel back and try to get this centered and put on. I had to cut it up a little bit in order for it to fit but I think it worked out really well. These are really easy to put on. It has a uh, white backing on the back that you slowly peel off and on the top it has a clear uh, sticky top part that your letters will stick on so I like to use the little stick they give me and rub on those letters to make sure that they will stick to what I want them to stick to and as I do that I slowly lift my clear paper up and peel it off like so and then just make sure that all my little letters are stuck down really well. So that's what I did with all three of these letter, uh, layers here. And now I'm gonna do family. So I just peel back that white once I get it where I want it and peel it right off. And then that leaves just the letters and that clear sticky tape over the top. I rub down on the letters with my little stick and then I start peeling up my clear sticky tape and that just comes up. You just have to go really slow. And it works really well. I just take my finger and go over all of them and make sure that they're on really well. I got these burlap uh, twine flowers from Dollar Tree. At some point, I've had them in my stash quite a while. They have a little sticky back on them. And um, I didn't think they were sticky enough. So I used hot glue and stuck them down. I thought they would be a sweet touch to either side of this saying. I had three of them. I thought, well, I'll try to kind of get that stuck in there, but I really didn't like it. So I'm going to just put the two on either side above family. And then I'm going to add a little bit of black rub and buff to my frame just to bring in some of the black from the lettering and the uh, music notes. And I think that makes it look really, really good. Did you know that Repurposed My Way has an Etsy shop called Pit Berries and Burlap? Yep. I do, and I've got all kinds of different things on here that you might be interested in. Items for crafting, home decoration, junk journaling, scrapbooking, and all kinds of things in between. I have lace bundles that are great. 
I have thread ball pumpkins that I just created. I have home decor that I redid myself, a little upcycling and repurposing. I've got tons of grubby candles, timer and non-timer, stencils for crafting, and craft kits for the adventurous crafter. So make sure you check out Pit Berries and Burlap. I'll have a link down in the description. I couldn't pass up this really great basket from Goodwill. It was $3 and it was raw. There was no stain on it, no paint on it whatsoever. And a lot of times when you're building vignettes or decorating, you want to start with a good base piece. So I think this is a great base piece and it's even utilitarian. You could take it out to the garden and bring in your vegetables with it. There's all kinds of things that you can do with it. So I wanted to do an easy flip on this and give it a little bit of a, a zhuzhing up, if you will. I'm going to use my watered down antique wax and I'm gonna just give this a stained look all around. So I'm gonna brush this on and then I'll wipe it back and this is gonna come out to a beautiful stain. And then this is the base for my vignette so that I can build on it and create a beautiful little space that's warm and cozy with it. Here is my beautiful basket, all done, all stained up, a beautiful base for a nice little piece of decor with adding a little bit of color color in there. We'll add a book, a little fall book. This can be found on my Etsy shop. Okay, and let's add a little candle holder and a candle. Let's add, because I have it, this cloche. Put that right in there like that. We'll just add some sunflowers in there, a nice bunch, like we just picked them. And of course, I've got to add a crow. And that is a beautiful little centerpiece, something that would fit on a counter, a table, but what a beautiful little piece from a thrifted basket that all I did was add some wax to stain it, and there we go. Or we can start from here. It's a little copper pan. Put that right in there. And we're gonna take one of the little wrapped crochet threads Stick that in there and get that to stand up straight. Kind of hidden in there. And then I have a dried sunflower. And we're going to just take that and set that in there. We'll space out our faux sunflowers just a little bit. So you can see them. I moved the uh, tablecloth just a little bit and then I feel like we always have to have a little crow in there so we'll add a little crow there we go and there is another way that you could do it just building on the basket the cloth the sunflowers and the cloche I have to say this was the most fun project that I did out of all of these projects in this video. This one is going to be a Halloween picture. I picked this 
a picture frame up at Goodwill for a few dollars and I just love the simpleness of it and I think it's going to work perfect for some decoupage paper that I got from Zazzle recently and I'm going and it's going to fit perfectly in this frame so it is meant to be. So the first thing I did was chain, took off the uh, hanger because I'm going to be hanging it a different way. So I changed that up. I cleaned up the back, took off the tag, and then cleaned up the front. And now I am painting the over the flowers of this with a light color because I am going to be putting a decoupage paper on there and I don't want the flowers to come through and I'm doing something different, which you can see here. I am gonna be using my Crackle Stamp. I really love using this on some of my projects with the decoupage paper, where it's gonna be, you're gonna be able to see it and it's gonna come through the paper. And this is gonna add a really cool texture to it. So, or a layer, not really texture, but a layer to it. Here's the paper from Zazzle that I'm going to use. I will leave a link down in the description if you are interested in this paper so that you can check it out. And I am going to start with adding some a thin coat of Mod Podge all over the top of my picture so that I can just do this in sections. So just a small amount there on the top and get it so that it's not all pooled up in one spot. And then I'm going to lay down the paper and use my plastic wrap to kind of help push out the bubbles and any wrinkles that I have. Once I got my paper all down and it dried, I added a coat of Mod Podge over the top to seal it in. And now I'm going to take some twine rope and I'm going to go around the edges. I have a few rips and tears down near the bottom where I got a little aggressive in getting it down and the wrinkles out. So I think this is going to cover that up. Also, I think it gives it a nice cool look a finished look around the edges i'm also going to do it around the uh, in between sections in between each witch there's a little bit of a uh, a line there and i'm going to cut off my twine and put that in between as well I'm gonna take a little antique wax on a brush and I'm gonna go over my twine rope pieces. So the rope is a little bit too bright for me. I wanna make this a dark and more spooky picture. So I'm taking the antique wax and putting it on the rope and then I'm just gonna wipe it back a little bit. And that just gonna, it's just gonna darken that up, give it an aged look and I think that works really well. So I did that all around the picture frame 
And now I'm taking my brush and I'm the antique wax and I'm brushing it around the edges of each section of each witch's spot. So just around the edges, just brushing it in towards the picture. And then I'm going to just go back and wipe it back a little bit. And it's going to give it a nice aged halo around each witch. And I think this is just a super cute picture. To finish up, I went around the edges of the actual picture frame with a little bit of black paint to bring some of the black from the picture and the frame together, and but still have the brown in there. So this is just gonna darken it up just a little bit and create that spooky feel. I hope you guys enjoyed my projects today. Let me know down in the comments if you have a favorite and which one it is. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and thanks for watching.